Oh my god, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating so much. Oof, I have to dry up myself, but what can I use? Oh, oh. Here it is. A fantastic 100% cotton terry cloth. Yes, today we're going to talk about terry cloth fabrics. Used for bathrobes, washcloth, beach towels, bath mats and bath in general, or used for sportswear, socks or even fashion, terry cloth fabrics are everywhere. You can deal with sweat, moisture, water or whatever. There is no better way than drying it up with a fantastic terry cloth fabric. But have you ever wondered how terry cloth fabrics are manufactured? Let's see that together. Terry cloths are instantly recognizable due to the loops that they have on the surface. These loops are the reason of why these fabrics absorb twice or even three times the moisture normal fabrics do. The longer the loop, the best absorption the fabric has. First, you have surely noticed that terry cloth fabrics are 100% cotton or a mixture among natural fibers. It's not a coincidence. Cotton absorbs water much more than a synthetic fiber such as polyester. So if you want a fabric that absorbs a lot of water, you have to start with the choice of the fiber composition. Cotton is a great choice indeed. Okay, now that we have the yarn cone 100% cotton here, for example, how is the terry cloth manufactured? There are three ways to manufacture terry cloth fabrics, weaving, warp knitting and weft knitting. Let's start from weaving the classical terry cloth. Most fabrics are made by weaving yarns in two directions, vertical warp and horizontal weft. In conventional canvas, you have one beam for the warp. In terry cloth fabrics, you have two warp beams, the ground warp, which helps for the base of the towel, and the pile warp, which creates the loops of thread. These loops stand off the base on both sides of fabric to increase the surface area, enhance absorption, and maintain a soft feel. Regulating the tension of the pile warp can help you with a long or short loop. If you take your own terry cloth, a used one for example, you will surely notice that the loops are all in a mess, are not as clean as in the photos. This is due to washings. When you wash the terry cloth, the loops start twisting on themselves, creating the hairness that doesn't seem like the loop. But if you open them, they are loops indeed. Terry fabrics can be also warp knitted. Block the loop fabric is a special kind of warp knitted fabric. It is characterized by a special construction in which loops are formed in the base material, either on one side or on both sides. Terry cloth is used predominantly in the cleaning textile sector. Warp knitting is considered the most efficient among the technologies for terry cloth fabrics. Warp knitted terry are produced with several beams, not just two. Two beams produce the inlay. For the terry loop, the yarn of the back and front bar are bounded in the inlay. Last but not least, we also have weft knitted terry fabrics. These are not 100% terry fabrics per se, they are manufactured in different ways, but the most common is similar to fleece fabrics, can be created with flatbed and circle machines with double bed needle bars. These type of terry fabrics are used very much in sportswear, for example. If you take, for example, the sock that I use when I go running, there are loops indeed. And this sock is circle knitted, so weft knitted. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below, along with my email, Reddit, and so on. If you need any textile help, I am at disposal naturally, and as usual, stay safe, take care. We'll meet again, guys, in the next video.